Hey everybody, thanks for joining me for today's devotional. Uh, today I want to start by reading Proverbs 22 verses 24 and 25. It says, Do not make friends with a hot-tempered person. Uh, do not associate with one easily angered. Or you may learn their ways and get yourself ensnared. Now I'm going to be honest, I kind of have a problem with this passage. Uh, Solomon, for all intents and purposes, he seems to be telling you that you shouldn't be friends with me. Uh, I've, I've had more than my fair share of days where I've yelled at the kids way too much. Uh, one time a few years back, I remember I, I, wanted to, I wanted the house cleaned up, and so I cleaned it up while the kids were playing outside. They came in, I was prepping a little bit of dinner, and when I came back into the living room, I noticed that my girls had dumped everything back out onto the floor that I had just picked up like five minutes ago. I had already picked up the toys uh, in a huffy manner the first time, and so now I was just flat out mad. Uh, I wasn't super nice to them, and to the point that in my in my bedtime prayer with the girls, I acknowledged my impatience and thank God for forgiving me uh, for how I tend to behave at times. I wonder if this sounds any way like your life sometimes. Maybe your temper doesn't flare up because of your kids messing up your, your neat freak obsessions like me. Uh, for you, maybe it's the driver in front of you messing with your desire to drive 15 miles an hour over the speed limit instead of just five. Maybe it's the grass in your yard that grows too quickly and you have to mow it every three days. Maybe it's your computer that takes two seconds too long to get to the next web page. Uh, honestly, all those are still the things that give me a hot temper at times. Uh, you probably have your own. Uh, but can I tell you what my lifesaver is? I married a very mild-tempered person whose love for me I cherish so much that I simply can't let myself become overly hot-tempered uh, with her because I, I don't want to have to live life without her. I don't want to... Uh, become someone that she doesn't want to be around. She has actually helped me to want to be more like Jesus. Uh, I more easily regret my bad temper when it arises than if I didn't have her around me because, uh, man, she speaks into my life something that's good. My wife is an embodiment of Jesus for me. Her love is something that I, I so cherish that I don't want to do anything to hurt her or hurt her love. And, and so that love has, has awakened me to more of what Jesus' love for me is like. When you begin to know Christ's love on a deeper level, you will desire to make him happy. Uh, you will, you'll desire to lose that hot temper and replace it with peace, peace and with patience. Uh, so my question this, this morning is, do you have people in your life that are helping you to know Jesus' love better? Uh, do you have people that are constantly uh, showing you what that, that kind of mild temper is supposed to look like. Do you, do you have people that are, are in those times where you are getting hot tempered, they're able to cool you down? And even this, are you growing to where you can be that mild tempered person in someone else's life? There are people in your life that need to understand what the life of Jesus looks more like. Uh, are you showing them that? Let's pray. Lord, I know it's hard for me not to get mad sometimes. I thank you so much for people like my wife that you've brought into my life that shows me uh, more what that mild-mannered, mild-tempered nature of Jesus looks like. Um, God, I pray that you'd help every one of us today uh, when, when, our, when our temper starts to flare, uh, remind us of your love for us. Remind us of the peace that we can have in Jesus. And God, I pray that today you'd help me to be uh, sort of that sense of peace for somebody else, that I would not bring somebody else to more anger than what they otherwise would experience. Uh, Lord, help us to be examples for you today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thanks, everybody. Hope you guys have a great week. We'll see you next time.